Okay, this is what we got for the solar furnace. Um, we got one by eights, three of them. Solar furnace is going to be about 36 by 72, at least that's what the plexiglass is. The roofing material that we got was the sheet metal, and we got our remnant piece for about $19. The insulation that we got is the metal. I'm hoping that we can paint it. We got high heat silicone. Uh, it goes up to 400 degrees. It's clear. We got uh, interior, exterior spray paint for the outside of the box. And we have high heat um, barbecue. Goes up to 500 degrees. We got the caulking gun and the brackets that go on the inside, and some of the sheet metal uh, three inch tubing that goes from the hot and cold air return into the house. And we had the plywood cut at the store to make that a little easier, and it is, let me see, it's 30. We made that 38 by uh, 72, and it's probably going to end up having a little lip on it, but we're going to try it and see what happens, and this is the beginning of our project, and it is November of 2010. Uh, so far we have about, um, about $195 into the project. And then we have the saws. And we'll get the project underway. Okay. The runs measuring. The board. And what board? <laughs> to the plexiglass, which ended up being a quarter of an inch longer than we thought it should be. And it's also a little bit thinner than what we thought we bought. It should be just fine. Okay, so the brackets are going in for the 1x8s, which is going to make the frame of the solar furnace. He's pre-drilling the holes so that the wood doesn't um, crack or split. Okay, so this is the metal that's going inside the solar furnace and it's all painted and that bottom half we our portion we cut off about I don't know about a foot of it. I think we bought a six six foot piece. So that part's done. Okay, so these are the notches that go inside the supports the the metal. Mm -hmm. That's the box that's completed. And now we're gonna cut the metal to fit the box. Okay, so we're gonna cut the metal. Okay, so we got the styrofoam cut and put in all the way around. I still need to get some more paint because I didn't get enough paint. So I'm going to have to spray paint the inside yet. And put the sheet metal on and the plexiglass and hopefully we're done. Uh, we got to drill holes in the ends first. so. That'll be before we get finished with that. 
Okay, we mounted the, uh, we put it up there, it's not mounted yet, um, the solar furnace at a 45 degree angle. And uh, we have to drill the holes for the piping to go into the house. Can I drill it? Yeah, go ahead. Get ready to drill the holes for the solar furnace for the... Right. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Things to drill on a 45 degree angle. What's happening? What I think's happening? Bound up in that foam. No, I'm bottoming out in here to plywood. Yeah, can you get the, some of that foam out of your hole? No, it's not the problem. Oh, well, it's the plywood. The, angle, the wood. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna have to come through. Yeah. I need the Allen wrenches. Ah. Okay. Now we have to drill from the other side because it's bottoming out. I did it. Uh, <laughs> might have to. Yep. Well, I got a rotos up too if I know the shit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, in case you got a, just a little dressing to yep. do. Heck yeah. Oh, it's his phone call. What? I keep hearing the phone. That's what I keep hearing. Oh, my camera. Oh, is that the camera? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got a good shot of Ronnie's butt. And this is where the two holes are going to come in. Uh, the one on the right is the hot. The one on the left is the cold air return. And we did manage to miss the studs, so that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we're creating a flange. Cutting in the metal. And when we push it through, we'll fan out the fins to hold in, and the then one. caulk. No. No, I don't need you to do that. There we go. I just wanted to get a shot of the flanges. Oh, not us. Uh, no, not you guys. I got mostly your legs and feet. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, this is the part where we came into the house. This is the cold air return. We put a flex tube with two solid tubes um, going into the house. And then we repainted uh, so that the flanges were painted. Oh, there's the flange. I couldn't find it. Okay. Batteries up. Alrighty. So now we're getting ready to put the plexiglass on. Okay. So we're running a bead of the high heat caulking around the edging uh, where the plexiglass is going to sit. And that is the hot air return. Okay, we've siliconed all the way around on the lip and on the outside. Um, we put brackets to hold the solar furnace and they are mounted to the roof and to the top of the porch. And now we're going to go inside and finish up the cold air return and see what kind of heat we're going to get. Okay, 
this is a view of the solar furnace from the roof looking down uh, onto the porch roof and it butts right up against it so there's going to be no wind issues or any of that so that's pretty cool So we're ready to try to put up the other piece again. Taping the pieces together so they don't fall apart. Uh, come toward the left. Who's left? Oh, I'm looking at it backwards. Right. I'm looking at it backwards. I'm <laughs> sorry. That's that's pretty good right there. The top look level. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it looks okay. Well, that can be adjusted once we get the strapping yeah, anyway. Just to hold it for now. It's not gonna hold it. No. Okay, so this is our pipe. It's about oh, I don't know, one foot from the floor. Hopefully that's enough. And it goes up and out the cold air. Okay, this is our thermostatically controlled fan uh, coming from the heat side. The pipe coming into the house has been insulated. The cold air return has not been insulated as yet. Uh, it's brought the temperature up about 4 degrees and it's about 1230. Uh, the inside temperature of the pipe was about 165 degrees. We'd like to um, put a tee on this and build one about 16 feet long to come in here with the different cold air return coming in. So the cost of the piping is not so expensive. And this is our solar furnace and thank you for watching.